Good artsy afternoon, everyone. Today, we are going to be learning about how to use lines with games. It's gonna be so fun. So we're going to be using two of our elements of art that we've already been talking about. We're going to use color and line today. So the first game that I want to teach you is something that I call a scribble game. And it's pretty easy and you can play it by yourself or with someone else. And what you're gonna need is something to draw with. So you could use a pencil or a marker or a crayon, it doesn't matter. And the first thing you do is on a piece of paper, you're going to make a scribble. But it just can't be one that's super big and fills up the whole page. It's a quick scribble. So it's just something like and that's it. Just a super quick scribble. And then what you do is if you're playing with someone else, you're going to switch papers with them. But if you're playing by yourself, you'll just keep your own paper. So what you do is after you switch papers or after you're done with your scribble, then you're gonna start looking at it from different ways and thinking about, hmm, what could I turn this scribble into? Because right now it's not anything, but what could I use my imagination to turn it into? So, hmm, when I look at it this way, I could turn this into a funny little creature and these are like his big legs and feet and I could give him a head and arms and little shoes and something to run on. Or let's turn it. Hmm, now what could it be? Do you have any ideas? Oh yeah, that could work. I could also see, we could turn this into a ship. So I could turn the bottom, keep drawing, and turn this into a boat. And then this part could be the sail or a giant flag. And I could draw some water and a sky. Let's turn it again. Now what do you see? There's so many different things you could do. I'm seeing now that I could turn this one into these being the antenna on the top of a bug. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do a ladybug. So let's pretend these are the antenna coming off of the top of the ladybug's head. So I'm gonna draw the body of the ladybug, like his head, but the rest of him is gonna be kind of off the paper. I can't see it. He's crawling onto my paper. And then, hmm, ladybugs have a black part on the top of their head and then a line that goes down the middle. And then maybe my ladybug is climbing on a big green leaf. So I'm gonna use another, how about Hmm, how about a zigzag line? And I could make like a spiky leaf. Zig, zag, zig, zag. And this is that leaf that my ladybug is crawling on. Ho, ho, ho. And now I'm, I'm gonna pick a crayon in my ladybug. I'm gonna start giving him some red color. So I used lines and now I'm using some color. And you would obviously spend a really good amount of time coloring it in your very, very best, but I'm just gonna quickly color for us. And then ladybugs have something else on them that's special. Do you know what it is? Yeah, spots, they do. They have like black spots on them. So I need to give my ladybug some black spots. Good thinking. And then I could color in some eyes and all kinds of stuff and color in my leaf. So this is the scribble game. So what you do is you always start out with just a scribble and then you turn it into something using your imagination. So the second game we're gonna play is called Tic-Tac-Toe. And you've probably played it before, but if you never have, you can ask one of your older siblings or one of your parents to show you how to play because it's pretty easy and almost everyone knows how to play. So usually when people play tic-tac-toe, they just kind of um, draw like two straight lines and then two horizontal lines. And then you take turns drawing X's and O's and you wanna get three in a row. So 
If I was the X, I would want to get three X's straight in a row to win. But we're artists. So we're not just going to make a plain old tic-tac-toe game with just X and o, X's and O's and straight lines in one color. We're going to make the coolest tic-tac-toe you could ever think of. And your tic-tac-toe board is going to look different than mine because you have a different imagination than I do. So I'm going to show you some ideas, but I want you to come up, use my ideas to help come up with your own, not just copy mine. So tic-tac-toe has to have those four lines, but maybe they don't have to be black or maybe they don't have to just be straight lines. What if two of mine were like wavy lines? One, two. And then how would I pick a new color? Like orange. And then I could do two straight lines. Whoa, that's already looking way more fun than last one. And how about instead of just drawing X's and O's, what if we made X's and O's on another paper that people could use and put them on their board? So I just made one of my O's and I used a spiral line to make it really fancy. And then I started drawing an X on my paper and then I could use scissors to cut it out. And the players could use these to play the game instead of just drawing it. And then it's a game that you can keep for a long time and keep playing with it because it won't have your drawing all over it. And you can just take the X's and O's off the board when you want to restart. So there's one X, there's one O. And then I could use my paper to draw more and then cut them out. And if you don't have lots of paper, you can always reuse paper. So maybe you have some junk mail or old receipts or anything. Look around and ask your families where there's extra paper that you could recycle and you could use for art because it's a great way to use our resources. This was an, a letter of something that wasn't important to me. So I could draw on this. So let's draw another O and make it really cool. How about red? I'm gonna start by drawing this circle. And then, hmm, what if I made like a star in it? Vertical line, horizontal, crisscross, hair. And then I could take my scissors and cut it out and I'm gonna, you're gonna need three of each. Three O's and three X's. So that's how you could play tic-tac-toe and create your own. You could even get really fancy and decorate your game board to be really cool. You could use all kinds of different lines and colors to add details to it or shapes or anything. Like, hmm, how about I could draw some hearts on the top. I could do a pattern, like two lines down, two lines across, down, across, down, across, and kind of make like a cool border around, like a picture frame around your game board. You could color it in, you can make swirls, anything that you can think of. Sunflowers, rainbows, trees, whatever you can imagine. So now that's up to you to create your own ideas and use your imagination the best you can. But I want, when you send me pictures of your artwork, I want you to send something that's using your imagination and it doesn't look just like mine because I wanna see what the artist in you is thinking of. All right, have fun and have a great time playing games.